When you need to capture values such as learner scores, number of attempts, object prices, and so on, a number of variables really are what you want to work with in Articulate Storyline. And here's just a really quick example where we're working with number values to assign weighted scores to a multiple choice question. Now, in this case, really, there are no incorrect scores, no incorrect choices. There's just, hey, some choices are better than others. And you can see the point value up top, right? So there's five points and one point. Now, when I click the submit button, I'm actually, uh, Storyline's actually evaluating what that current value is and sending me to the appropriate slide. Pretty simple to do, and it only requires a single variable in Storyline. So what I'm working with here, if I just jump over to Story View, this is the start file that we downloaded. And these are not really connected right now because I have removed the previous and next button. Really, we don't want the learner just clicking next. We want them to uh, click a choice and then click the submit button. So here's what it looks like. We want to create that first variable. And we do that by going to the trigger panel. And at the very bottom right here, we have this X. We only need one variable here. Variables can only hold one piece of data. So that data that we want to collect is their current choice. So we do that by clicking the Create New Variable button, and let's just name this choice. Call it anything you want, just give it something that is somewhat meaningful to uh, the type of variable that you're tracking. For the type, I want to select number, and for the current value, zero is fine. We could actually set that to a different value as well, but uh, right now, zero is perfect. Click OK, and click OK again. So now we want to go ahead and set that variable. So in order to actually do something with it, right, because it exists, we just haven't given it any points or any values, we need to do that with a trigger. A lot of different ways, but in this example, we're actually going to uh, have the, uh, the selected caption assign that value to the variable. So if you click this one, you'll get 10 points. If you click this, you get five. And if you click this third one, you get one. So here's what that looks like. We'll just start with the first one. Trigger panel, new trigger. Go ahead and select adjust variable, and it's down here toward the bottom. Just variable. Now for the variable, we only have one. So that variable we're going to use is choice. And for the operator, assignment is what we want. We could add to it. We could subtract to it. But we're just going to say this variable equals value. Select value again. And this point time, give it a point value. 10 points when I click that chat. Click OK. And there we have it. Now what we could do real quick is just preview the slide to verify that it works. Now what I put up top is the uh, reference to that variable. Click this, and so it should actually update when I click this uh, caption. And there's my 10 points. It won't work over here because we're not telling it to do anything. So the fastest way to work now is to copy this and then just change it. So copy, and I'll select this next chat box and click paste. And this time, it's still going to set the value. If I double click it, it's still setting the value to choice. But I can just change that to 5. Pretty simple, right? Select the third chat box and then click paste again. And this time we will change it to one. All right, so at this point we've set up all of our triggers to actually give the point value for each of these captions. What we want to do now is actually have a, another trigger that evaluates what is that current value. And we do that by selecting the submit button. And this time we'll add another trigger. I guess I don't need this. And we want to evaluate what that value is. So, but first off, really what we want to do with it, if we think about it, is we want to jump to a slide based on whatever is selected. So the action we want here is typically just that jump to slide. And if I select this first one, let's work on that first one, choice one. So we have those three slides that we already created when I click the button. But now we need to add a condition. And that condition says only if choice is equal to 10. Add a plus sign. In this case, the variable is choice. Back to that operator again, which is the same one we worked with, equal to value of 10. If it's not equal to 10, or this is going to get ignored. This, this, this trigger, this uh, condition is ignored, and it doesn't jump to that slide. Click OK. Now what I want to do is just copy this trigger two more times and evaluate maybe it's five points, or maybe it's one point. Copy it, paste it, and this time I'll double click. I don't want to go to choice one slide. I want to go to choice two. When the user clicks, but this time, not if it's equal to 10, but if it's equal to 5. You know where we're going with this next one, right? Paste it. This time, I can actually come down here, choice 4, our choice 3 slide, equal to 1. And there we go. So just like before, make a choice, submit, and now we go to the appropriate slide. All that with a single variable in Articulate Storyline.